Hi, Stew Heads. It's me, Leah. We don't have a full episode for you today. Christmas is just a few days away, and we're just sitting here in the studio discussing our favorite holiday traditions. Hi, guys. Yes, this is Steve again, and uh, oh, we've got lots of favorite traditions. If you have an appetite for the strange and bizarre, then pull up a chair and grab a spoon for another intriguing serving of Remnant Stew. Remnant Stew is gluten-free, organic, made from all natural, free-range ingredients and guaranteed to provide the recommended daily serving of curiosity. Uh, you remember stockings, hanging them up on the on the mantel? Yeah. Do you do that now? Yeah, um, uh, yeah, if we're, yeah we, we do. We hang them up and leave them out there. We got too many grandkids that won't all fit on the mantel, so no. <laughs> we just do, Don't do that anymore. Yeah, we never we, we just did. do immediate family that live in that house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. We never did. Like, that was not a part of me growing up at all. But then when I got married, that was definitely a thing that Paul wanted to do. We did but it, but it was it was usually small gifts, you know, right, maybe but, bits of but candy. But we, we hang them up there, but when Santa comes, they were taken off, and then that's the stocking stuffers were placed where I see. Santa drops his gifts. Oh, yeah. to mark where your stuff is. Oh, oh, that's cool. Because right. there's that's cool. Yeah, I, I, that was some of it was from my side of the family because there were five of us, and so if you just dropped gifts anywhere, you right one of us might just take them all. <laughs> oh, you know what I do? So that and now that my boys are older, you know they're adults. It's not that big a deal, but um, I don't wait and. I hope nobody believes in Santa Claus when we do that. <laughs> want, but when I, out, <laughs> when I put out the gifts and everything, no. I just want to – now I don't want to stay up Christmas Eve night, okay? Yeah. I want to go to bed. So yeah. I don't do all of that. I do it ahead of time, and I wrap the gifts, put them under there, and instead of putting their names on them, I put like a, a, a rune so I know <laughs> which kid is which. Oh, but boy. in the past, I've done like – this kid's got Mom. Yeah, this kid's <laughs> got the green. runes already, would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes and in the past I've done like I looked like, up what my rune means, mom. That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but I've also done like this one has green wrapping paper and this one has yeah, red yeah, or yeah. something like that where they just don't know. You can't pick right. it up and tell whose is whose. I see. You know. Well, speaking of <laughs> so, do you like wrapping presents? Um, do I Are you like good at it? it? Yeah, yeah, I'm good I'm at it. Good. Yeah. I, I, and I do enjoy I've it. I've learned to from a particular degree. father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So now I think this is this next one, young uh, couples getting married. This is probably the source of more arguments than anything else. <laughs> do you open the presents on Christmas Eve or oh, Christmas that's, morning? That's a good question. We yeah. do Christmas Eve just so that because usually all of the families together, the whole all you know, brothers, sisters, grandma, grandma, right. all of that are together that night, and so we'll do that and then. Santa Claus can come to their individual places. Right. And so we'll do them all on Christmas Eve. What about y'all? Um, we tip, well, our family's so spread out, but we do have Christmas morning at our house. Uh, but uh, with certain different segments of the family, we also might have it beforehand, you know? Yeah. So. We, growing up, it was kind of cool because we always got to open one gift. Yeah, we but- there. But my mom would choose the gift, and it was always a new set of pajamas and a new robe. Oh boy! And so, well, I mean, but it was neat because we would get, we would put them on, and then we would go to my aunt's house, yeah. you know, in our pajamas, and so that was really kind of cool. That's we should stop the pink bunny. <laughs> True. Yeah. True. Well, when I was a kid, we would go to my grandmother's house Christmas Eve, and then right. we'd had our own Christmas morning uh, the next day. Uh, any particular uh, meal that you would have? Well, speaking of that, my grandmother always make chicken salad sandwiches the night before. It doesn't sound like a lot, but she had really good chicken salad. Oh, I'll that's say that. Good. We still have the recipe in the family today, and so that we would have that at her house. But um, what about your any particular chicken? Uh, any particular Christmas meal? No, it's funny because uh, a couple years in a row, like. I, being the mom, right? Being the mom, right. there's so much to do with kids and the classes and the everything. There's so much to do. And and there was a couple years in a row that I got caught going, I have no, I have no clue what to make for Christmas <laughs> Christmas Day. Like, there's nothing in there. I haven't been shopping in a while. And, like, we yeah. have green beans and cake mix. That's yeah. it. Like, oh, you wow. know? Yeah. And, and so I've been caught. And so, so I, and I keep notes, you know, of what, we did and what we, you know, and so like make the menu, decide right. yeah, what's right. going on and that kind of thing. But no, we don't have any one thing. It's um, pretty similar to Thanksgiving. 
Yeah, well, um, we, some of yeah, we like often use a, a smoked food. turkey or a ham, yeah. you yeah. know, at Christmas. But here in the uh, greater cut and shoot area, we have uh, many friends and neighbors who are Hispanic. Oh, and uh, tamales. Uh, tamales. tamales. We already yes. know where you're going with that one. <laughs> yeah, tamales are are a, a bit the oh. traditional Christmas uh, dinner for for, the, for oh, that culture. Oh, it's an culture. awesome dinner, I, and they are delicious. I love oh, I love some good, good tamales. Oh, I do too. Now we have when we get together with family, you know, not Christmas Day, yeah, but right. you know, we have ham or turkey or something like that. Oh, yeah. and that's one thing I'm going to miss about being retired is that we had a. Beautiful little lady at the school where I work, Miss Juana. She was one of the custodians, and she would make tamales and sell them. And uh, oh man, they were so. You good. can probably so still order them. I probably her. could. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll go put my order in up with Miss Juana. <laughs> and, and here's here's the custom here in Southeast Texas. If you want good tamales, it's usually like on the side of the road, right? You have <laughs> and to you find don't the question people. It. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't question it. Question it's it. either it's either a really really good decision or a really really bad decision <laughs> like you just got to trust it generally they're pretty good yes yeah. that's generally, true generally they're yeah. pretty good all right um so yeah we talked a little bit about christmas eve traditions and you know um the night before if you've got little kids you know you're getting them all oh yeah calming uh, them down we didn't really do the santa claus with my kids but the, you know, cause i didn't want somebody else getting credit for the money i spent <laughs> <laughs> Well, I remember one Christmas Day, we did Santa Claus. And so, you know, all of the kids are opening their presents and stuff, and it's all done. It's all set. They're playing and everything. Well, me and Paul are exchanging gifts. And Sam, okay, Sam's like, you didn't get us a gift? (laughs) (laughs) He noticed that, you know, that that we hadn't gone out. This all came from Santa. What about you? Yeah, he's like, what about you? I know. (laughs) I'm a dad, you're slackers. (laughs) And I'm just like... Go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> and you're grounded. The only real Christmas Christmas tradition that I have stuck to, like stuck to over the years, is that we don't do or see or anything. We don't go anywhere on Christmas Day. Now, yeah. if somebody wants to come see us, I've had people stay at my house overnight, family stay, you know, overnight and that kind of thing. But we don't do or go or visit anywhere on Christmas Day. I can't remember um, the... Um... When it started, but it seems like now a lot of people go to the movies Christmas afternoon because the theaters that are open, uh, you know, and the people will go see a movie on the af- Christmas afternoon. Yeah. Huh. Um, one of my favorite Christmas stories is my first wife's parents eloped on Christmas Day in 1951. And uh, they, <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, in order to elope, they had to, actually had to call a judge to come out of his office uh, out of his house on christmas day to come down to his office and marry them and um you know his wife was angry about it the judge's wife and so she wouldn't even come in to witness it she just stayed in the car and, and signed <laughs> the witness. and so then they were looking they, they my 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 in-laws uh, they actually grew up their families were friends together you know so they grew up playing together and so they'd known each other all their lives and we just lost my mother-in-law just uh, earlier this year, uh, but uh, you know they 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 got married. Finally, they got the judge to marry them, and uh, so then they were hungry. And the only place that was open was uh, what what my mother-in-law always called was a little beer joint. <laughs> <laughs> and so they got in, they went in there and uh, ordered a hamburger, and she got sick and was sick for the rest of the day. So oh was, no! Uh, oh no! Their marriage was off to a rocky start, but it lasted for seventy years. And so, oh, one of my favorite people so in the nice. world were uh, my my first uh, my first in laws. Now, what about Christmas movies? Oh, the Christmas story is my favorite. Yes. A Christmas Story or the, the, the Christmas, Christmas Story? A so, Christmas Story, yeah. A Christ- oh, okay, a Christmas with Ralphie. Story, the baby gun, yes. yeah. yeah. Do you know there's a there's a sequel? There is now a yeah. sequel. Yeah. Have you seen it? Like, I, I don't know. I saw the secret. It was, a, it was a summertime one, and they actually did a live uh, play version of it. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm fortunate to get to travel a lot, and um, you always look at reviews of places to go. Well, you can go to the Christmas Story house where they filmed, yeah. uh, filmed the exterior scenes of it, in Cleveland, Ohio, which is where my wife's uh, from, and her sister still lives, and the reviews always say, "Oh, don't go; it's a waste of your time." Well, we went anyway, and we had a blast. You know, I got a picture of myself under the sink. You know, like uh, 
<laughs> like Randy, you know, when yeah. he crawls yeah. over the sink. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so we had a great time there, but I, I love that movie, and uh, you know, have, uh, it's one of the things we usually end up watching it uh, at some point because it's on yes. all day Christmas Day. Uh, absolutely, it's played like it's played like totally all the time. Right, it is. Yeah, there's like a marathon like, right right uh, at Bing Crosby White Christmas. Yeah, okay. You know, that's one that that's we often watch too. You know, um, <laughs> interesting and. Uh, um, of course, um, it's a wonderful life. It's yeah, a wonderful it's life wonderful is a life. good one. Yes. Now it's not now the Jimmy Stewart. Now the bigger ones coming up or is is people. I'm not going to name any names, but they know who they are. Elf. Oh, what is it? The, Elf. The movie Elf. Oh, Elf. Elf. Yeah, Elf. I love my wife loves Elf yeah. especially. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I could take it early. Well, Elf, here's but, my but my take. That's becoming another another kind of tradition. Yeah. For it some. is. Elf's not a great movie, but uh, Will Will Ferrell is great as that role. <laughs> as that role yes. Yeah. Now, what about Polar Express? Yeah, I, I'm not uh, as familiar with that one. I guess oh. it's a good one. No, yeah. no. It, <laughs> <laughs> I I loathe that movie. <laughs> but it's not. I mean, it was cute for what it was. I maybe. <laughs> no. The only the only redeeming thing is that it had Tom Hanks in it. That's it. Yeah. Many, many, many times. Yeah, many, many, many times. But <laughs> right. even then, it's like not the real Tom. I mean, it is the real right. Tom Hanks, but it's the animated yeah. CGI version. Oh, it's and all it was CGI, weird. Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah. Well, and then uh, one of the things that I always try to catch is the, the original animated How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love the Grinch. I love the animated version. And then I love, you know, the, the uh, stop animation of um, Rudolph. Right. Yeah. Then, the claymation. Is, yeah. Yeah. The, the claymation. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yes, Rudolph yes, the Red Nosed well. Reindeer. And then there's, what is the Frosty one with the snowman also? Well, there's Frosty. Yeah. I love Frosty. He's animated. But one of my, one of my all time favorites, uh, that we love to watch on TV as, uh, a family is a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yes. And I think Linus says it best. Here For we sure. go. Let's listen to him. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. And there were in the same country shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. That's really good. We'd like to take this time to extend our deepest gratitude to you, our listeners, as Remnant Stew heads into Season 4. I know, really. Amazing, huh? <laughs> we love researching and re- recording this quirky little podcast. We also hope that your Christmas and New Year, hol- New Year holidays are the best ones yet. But we know that the holidays can be a difficult time for many, so we pray that you will be resilient. Your holidays uncomplicated and that you will be blessed with joy and peace joy and peace that's a good way to go we will have a new episode for you on january the 2nd of the whole new year 2023 so until then we wish you a merry christmas Mm -hmm. and a very happy new year please make your new year's resolution to extend kindness whenever the opportunity arises and of course remember to always stay curious. curious